Hey everyone, so sorry if I'm a little quiet, my voice is starting to go, my throat kind of hurts, but I've been uh, thinking about cutting my hair, so today I'm going to go from this big poofy mess <laughs> to this tapered hairstyle, and no, I didn't cut my hair, but I just kind of want to see what it would look like to have a, to a tapered look on me. So this is um, a couple day old twist and curl, I did flat twists and um, perm rods on the end and it's not bad I could still wear it but I kind of wanted to see what else I could do with this hairstyle and if you guys want to see how I do my twist and curl I'll leave a link to a video um, so I'm just sectioning off the side and finger detangling what I'm doing here is not super important because um, I'm gonna change it anyway but I'm doing some like pin curl thing with the ends out and bobby pinning it it doesn't matter we're gonna move on because I didn't like it eventually so the back section I'm taking uh, three or, or three vertical sections and I'm not being super scientific and without looking in the mirror I'm just rolling the front and then twisting the top into a half of a bantu knot and then leaving the ends poking out so the curls can show and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the middle section Basically, I'm rolling it to my head so I don't have to completely detangle it to do a flat twist or a cornrow, and I want it to be as uh, close to the back of my head as possible, giving the illusion of having a faux uh, haircut uh, or a tapered haircut. So a couple pins keeps that in place. Now for the front section, I'm going to section out the crown. I'm going to keep that out. Um, and then the front, the very front of my hair, I'm going to twist into a half bantu knot and then pin that in place just to make the bang section a little shorter because my hair is pretty long right there and pin that in place. And then I'm going to take the crown portion I sectioned um, and put that over, over the hair I just pinned and kind of make a short tapered little fringe, I guess. Now one side I... I'm taking all of it down and I'm going to just roll that up into a half bantu knot like I did the back because I wasn't really feeling that weird like puff on the side. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but this was all spontaneous so I'm just kind of making it up as I go along and I'm going to do a lot of arranging of my curls in this. So the second side I'm going to take half of that part out and then twist that up kind of like I did the back section into a half bantu knot to get some of the length out and then pin that in place and then you're just gonna adjust your curls and your hair to your liking some of my ends are a little fuzzy so I'm sure if you did this on like a fresh twist out or a fresh perm rod set it would be even cuter but this is how I am planning on wearing my hair or I was planning on wearing my hair it was super windy out so it didn't actually last very long but this is the back view and apologies for how blurry it is. I'm just showing you putting on a tiny bit of edge control and then arranging the curls in the front. You could use a curl cream to kind of spruce them up. Mine were looking a little stringy, but uh, that's the back and I think it looks, I think it looks pretty good. I'm not quite sure if a tapered haircut would work with my face. I feel like I have a really big face. <laughs> <laughs> a tapered haircut just kind of makes my face look bigger, but it's different. It's cute. I might put like a little head wrap on the back. You could totally do that with this hairstyle. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little hairstyle of how to refresh a perm rod set or a twist out or anything. Um, be sure to leave me a comment below of what you thought. And until next time, bye.